verse by verse into the word is the teaching ministry of Dr. Andrew C.S. Go, author and publisher of 21 New Testament commentaries. Episode 18. John chapter 3 verses 17 to 21. From darkness into the light. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we acknowledge that you are God of the Bible. We pray for daily bread to sustain, nourish, renew, refresh, and re-energize our spirit man. We pray for you to speak to us through the Holy Spirit and through Scripture. In Jesus' name, Amen. So John 3, 17 to 21. For God did not send his son into the world to condemn the world, but to save the world through him. Whoever believes in him is not condemned, but whoever does not believe stands condemned already because they have not believed in the name of God's one and only Son. This is the verdict. Light has come into the world, but people love darkness instead of light, because their deeds were evil. Everyone who does evil hates the light and will not come into the light for fear that their deeds will be exposed. But whoever lives by the truth comes into the light so that it may be seen plainly that what they have done has been done in the sight of God. God did not send Christ into the world to condemn the world, but to save the world through him. However, those who choose not to believe in Christ will be condemned. Salvation and condemnation are two sides of the salvation coin. Those who believe in Christ will receive salvation. But those who do not believe in Christ will receive condemnation. Christ is the light of the world. John 8.12 Christ revealed and exposed sins, sins. No one can hide from his omniscient power. Hebrews 4.13 Christ knows everything about everyone up to the very hair on the head. Christ is a personal God. He knew everyone by name. Many people choose not to come to Christ because they were they are afraid that their sins will be exposed. So they choose to remain in darkness. Christ invites everyone to come clean, confessing their sins to him for forgiveness. He justifies by grace through faith. Whoever comes to Christ 
have nothing to fear because they are justified. Whoever walk in Christ walk in the light and will not stumble in darkness. After the secret encounter with Christ, Nicodemus became his secret follower. Nicodemus defended Christ before the Pharisees in John chapter 7, verses 50 to 51. Nicodemus assisted Joseph of Arimathea to give Christ an honorable Jewish burial in John chapter 19, verse 39. After the death of Christ, Nicodemus finally came out from the darkness into the light. According to tradition, the Jewish leaders sacked Nicodemus from the Sanhedrin, excommunicated him, and banished him out of Jerusalem. John 8, 12, John 8, 12. When Jesus spoke again to the people, he said, I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will never walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. Hebrews 4, 13. Nothing in all creation is hidden from God's sight. Everything is uncovered and laid bare before the eyes of him to whom we must give an account. Romans 3 to 3, for all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. Romans 3 to 8, for we maintain that a person is justified justified by faith apart from the law. Application, Christ is the light of the world. Christ is the way, the truth, and the life. We will know the truth, and the truth will set us free. The bell of truth is the first piece of God's spiritual armor for our protection. The Holy Spirit is the spirit of truth. He will reveal all truth to us. We are a light to the world. We share Christ. We share the light of Christ to the world. Prayer. Heavenly Father, thank you for sending Jesus Christ into the world to save the world. Thank you for justification by grace through faith in Christ. Help us to be a light to the world around us. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for watching episode 18. One last thing. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and share.